here at Willie's Lounge with Hi, the eventually beautiful Tammy. Right there we have Corey, also known as the Naughty Northern. They're uh, shooting a uh, music video for his uh, video uh, dive bar. And uh, we're here uh, watching and being extra smart. I, I don't want to get distracted by food. Food is distracting. Hold <laughs> 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 on, no problem. That's pretty bad, thank you guys. We gotta make sure we give them lots of credit for this. Yeah, like exclusive credit. At least he'll put some like brand new liquor there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't know. That's awesome. Now you just get a, it's clip a big teeter totter. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Who well, knows? This might have millions of views someday. Yeah. Right, there you go. <laughs> we know. I mean, I, I kind of hope it does. Yeah. I plan on it getting millions, millions of views someday. Should I be catching the camera right now? We'll do it. We already got this stuff. Our channel is not shadow banned on YouTube, so. Yeah, my channel is shadow banned too, so. Please. Is this your drink right here? Yes, please. Thank you. I've been actually learning a lot from some of my good friends that have very successful. Yeah, you might want to move the hands. By the way, I did buy this downstairs. Just want to let you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You definitely didn't buy it from me. I appreciate you all. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to shout your channel out, I've got a uh, quarter million subscribers. Yeah, I um, I reached 156 before I took my first hiatus. What's your, what's your channel name? Uh, Salvian family. Okay. It was focused more on like uh, reactions and reviews to Korean popular music. Cool. Um, but I found out the hard way that because uh, I talked to a lot of YouTubers at one point. I met like people like Casey Neistat if you've heard of him. Um, they always said the same advice but in different ways. They always said just keep uploading, which YouTube promoted consistency. Yeah. Right. Are you good? Are you as long as you had some level of consistency, and I think the, right the time span is two months, so then you'd be rewarded with uh, view suggestions. Like your video would be suggested in that niche market, right? But what they don't tell you, it's like if they reward consistency, they punish inconsistency, and they do punish hard. Like when you're shadow banned, you don't get suggested anymore. Yeah. Yeah. When people search up, like, let's we'll say you have here. your tag as we'll over here. whatever, like maybe outdoor living or something. Other people that are being rewarded will become first, as opposed to your channel or my sure. channel or whatever. You can be removed from the shadow ban, but it's the same way. It's like you have to be consistent again. And uh, and yeah. how you get out of it is two months. I, I upload like uh, multiple times a day, but it doesn't been helping, so... Well, it depends on your target. Yeah. It really depends on the target audience. Like, if you're doing, you're, like, let's say if you're doing several videos a day, but they're in different tags, then it doesn't matter. Because yeah. YouTube doesn't like difference. They promote uniform. Are you talking about the category that your videos are in? So like well, not just category, the tags. Like, if you're, like, if, let's, let's say one of your videos says drinking, right? The next video you put drinking and gaming. They don't like it. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So it's consistency I even change my tags with almost every video. That's that's part of the shadow. Man. Really? Yeah, so like it the way YouTube has evolved over the last couple of years it's, So what should I be doing for tags? Well Depending on what you're trying to promote. So let's say, because I know you do some of your stuff as outdoors, right? Yeah, outdoors, dogs. Right, so let's say you do, you tag that with like outdoors and dogs. The next videos you upload within those two months, outdoors and dogs. But I, I put every single tag I possibly can. Don't, don't use too many tags. Too. Oh, really? Because I, use, I use my maximum. That's what my... <laughs> you ever heard of something called VidIQ? No. VidIQ is a service that lets you see sure. what tags are popular in the niche. It's like helps you target your audience. It also lets you see what other YouTubers in your niche are using as tags. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's called VidIQ. V -I -D. Maybe, maybe I've been hurting myself then with my tags. <laughs> no, it, it really, YouTube is all about like consistency now. Back then, like I people you're started in 2005, guests, those guys were yeah. they could upload anything they wanted, not very good and not deal with third-party content what and copyright claims. Heck yeah, they're gonna really? put you on the payroll. So, and they, <laughs> the monetizations, but back then it was user-friendly. Now it's corporate-friendly. 
Yeah, I've noticed. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. companies yeah. make more money yeah. nowadays. Because they can have 10, 15 guys uploading the same content over and over again. As opposed to you who has to film it, edit it, put the tags. You're by yourself in that sense almost. Even if you have two people. So you're saying as far as tags, I should maybe be the only user that does the tags. I should use a handful. A handful. Yeah, less than a dozen even? Yeah. But so how would I break five? Let's say five. Really? Five is not bad. Man, I've been putting every single tag. That, that used to be the way yeah, YouTube yeah. But it changed. Really? YouTube is about retention time. And how many times people play your videos over again. So that's the biggest thing. Okay. So it, like, like tags is important, but it's not number one. Number one is how long is pe are people watching your videos? And the second thing is, do they replay them? Okay. I'm, if, if you want, um, I can uh, send you... There's a video that's called The Guy That Broke YouTube. It's a guy that... Give me one second. Um, he, brought, he, he ended up going from 10,000 subscribers to 4.3 million in three months. Oh, really? But he cracked the new YouTube algorithm. <laughs> yeah, no, said it. <laughs> and, and the two biggest things, right the two biggest things are retention time, which is how much people are watching sure. your videos, and how much, how many times are they playing it again. Okay. This guy had five minutes of retention time, and his videos were being replayed like ten times. Oh, wow. Well. You know what I mean? Sure. Oh, thanks. It's a laundry list of stuff, but I, I can send you the video and like a, DJ, a couple of lists video, of things. Be. And I think it'll help improve it if right? you're passionate about YouTube. Oh, yeah, no, I appreciate like, it. I, video, huh? I grew my channel yeah, to that. I was averaging video, right? at 1.11 yeah. thousand subscribers right. a month, yeah. which was very nice. See? Like, I was, let's say a video that had 100,000 views. We get like 20,000 likes and 1,000 comments. That's really good. I had a, a span where I was getting a, a thousand new subs like every day, sometimes that's a couple, nice. a couple that's really, thousand that's a day. Really and nice. then, yeah. It's just, um, uh, can I help your direction real quick as far as what we're going to do right now? Should I do the scene? Well, yeah, I hope you other YouTubers there, appreciate that info right like there. I did. So do we have uh, bar stools we can use? Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah! <laughs>